Hello, today I will show you how to install Browser Sync on uh, Sublime Text ed Editor. To do that, you need to create a new, to install a new package. To do that, you go to Preferences Package Control and click Install Package. And here in the new window, you need to, to find the browser sync. Click here and wait until uh, your PC is uh, installing the new package. For this tutorial, I create already some files to show you how this thing works and to be easy for us to understand now the package is still uh, in inst installation uh, when this is done you need to see here a new tab this tab is uh, named uh, I, saw, I write it here, Browser Sync I'm still uh, installing now I think I need to, to increase the speed for the tutorial because it takes too much time Okay, and now we have already installed the new package. If you want to see if it's already installed, you can go on packages and you will see here browser sync. But uh, I don't know why, but this tab is doesn't appear yet. Maybe I need to wait some time to see maybe to restart sublime editor it still doesn't work uh, you see now it's uh, here so I started with this Right. and now if you want to use this you need to click here and choose the file that you want to open in your browser if you want to change the default browser to something else that uh, I done already you need to go on preferences browse packages and go to browser sync and open browser sync launch GS. and here you can change this browser with Firefox click save and now you can go here and hit no. choose again your index HTML file and click launch and now you need to wait until your PC is open the uh, new index HTML file. As you can see, you have here the browser sync already open. Now we will test some things here to see if it works or not and I will put here a new paragraph I will put some random text and I will hit save you will see when you hit save you will see the text here ok if uh, you want to change something on your CSS file for example we need to add some more text here there max with and 
zero to then you click save you can see here you have the file updated also works for GS files if you I created here one random function that changed the background at each refresh of the page if, if you recommend this and click save you will see you have another background for this file here click refresh and you change the color again and again if you want to remove this annoying pop-up here it's very simple you can go here to browser sync launch and add one more field but I don't remember very well now how is the name but maybe you can search remove what is the name here browser sync sync pop-up okay mm. Okay, do something pop up notify false. This is the name notify false. After you save and you go here, click refresh. I think you need to. To open again the, the tab for this start the next launch because you need to reload this file when you open the the file again and if you hit refresh now you will see we don't have any more this pop thank you for the watching.